Hey Sagittarius, what's up? Welcome back. We are going to be checking in with your person, see their current energies and feelings for you. What is going on for your person, Sagittarius? What are the messages? Okay. Wow, okay, we've got the guilt card with the recovery. So there is something that, okay, they rejected you and now they feel guilty. So they cut off the communication or they uh, disappeared and now they feel guilty for what they have done. They really tricked you into believing something. Oh, hold on, I'm sorry. This is much better. <clears throat> They tricked you because they were insecure themselves and they tried to maybe bring you down or make you feel insecure about something. They were actually questioning their own self-worth and value. And I feel like they put it out on you. They projected this on you. And now they feel guilty for their own projection because they weren't honest towards you. All right, they weren't. Let's see. Very interesting start of your reading. They got them to themselves, Saj. That's what I'm seeing. Whatever they did, they took this to themselves. Let's see. What is their current feelings towards Saj? The Hierophant with the Queen of Wands. Now this person wants you back, back in a relationship. They want you to be committed to them because, you know, actually the Queen of Wands, fire energy, they are not the committal type. They are very independent, um, really focusing a lot on their own freedom and just going on their own way. They are their own leader. They don't allow anyone to you know, <clears throat> either put them down or to put them in a box. They are very open-minded and very spiritual. And at the same time, what people don't know is that the fire energy, the Sagittarius energy can be very loyal, very committal. Like if they, if they love you, they will do anything for you. Like they will always protect you or uh, back you up in anything. And I feel like now that you have withdrawn your energy and you're not showing up with that loyalty in return, um, it's, you know, they get what they, they, they get what they uh, gave, right? Like you're not going to show up with all your love, your loyalty and your passion because you didn't receive that commitment in return. So now they want that back. <clears throat> wow. We have even the lover's card with the justice. So these are three major arcanas. <clears throat> one more, one more, one more. Okay. King of Pentacles wanted to come through. And we have the Ten of Pentacles return, reversed. Now, with the Justice, they know that you... Like, I see you with the Queen of Wands being very confident here. And you will not back down. And you will keep on continuing to stand your ground in a situation where you know that you, you were right. And it looks like with this lover's card, this person knows that they need to come forward with a compromise, make some type of decision to make things right again, to bring in fairness and equilibrium into the situation. However, I'm, I'm still not seeing this person being as committal as you were. Like the, the lack of commitment is still here. Like they may not be quite ready to to give you that family commitment or to give you that engagement or be, how do I say that? Like, you know, to show up at your mother's or your parents' place. Like, I don't see them doing that yet, okay? So they know that they are not really in that space to give you the full commitment. Uh, however, they do want your commitment. So it's a little bit, <clears throat> Selfish like they want you to fully commit without them giving you the full commitment <clears throat> my, my voice is going <laughs> Let's see how do you feel about them now? How do you feel?
you feel like you, you need to defend yourself. You're standing your ground, like I said. You are having your walls up. You're not allowing this person to walk over your boundaries or inviolate your personal space in any type of way or give you any type of drama. So you're really protective of your energy around this time. You don't want to put up with their bullshit. Yeah, I, I see that you're not willing to put in the work anymore. Like, you feel like all the work that you've been putting into this connection or to this person has not been giving you the results that you've been hoping for. You haven't seen the change. Yeah, wow. The Five of Swords even indicates that you are ready for... For a fight with them that's what i'm seeing like with this five of swords you are most definitely not going to give them their 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 cake and eat it too like that's what it is you're ready to to battle this person's ego you're not going to say this the the sweet little stuff to you know win their heart back or you know be all sensitive or walk walk on eggshells no you're it's like tit for tats type of energy yeah because you have not seen the changes that you've been wanting to see you want to change you want to change in your love life you want to change in this connection i see you really trying to move away from this distancing distancing yourself trying to get some peace on your own but not allowing this person to trigger your emotions and if you do have a lot of emotions here, you're keeping that in the dark. You're not going to reveal that. <clears throat> what is this person's biggest blockage? You walking away. <laughs> they feel like they can't hold you down. It's like if things are not going in your favor, Sag, you're walking away. You're not putting up with their BS. And that's their big biggest blockage. Like... If they've done something wrong, you like you immediately withdraw and walk away. Like emotionally, you withdraw your energy and they feel that. What's their next move towards Sag? What's their next move towards Sag? They're going to give you your space. They're going to give you your freedom. Let you soar. Let you just go on your own path. Not try to disturb too much of your independence here. Give you exactly what you need. We do have the Queen of Swords reverse, so they're going to be a little bitter about it though. <laughs> like it's like they know that this is what you need, but they don't really like that. And so they're going to be a little bitter about it. Maybe even cutting off communication or being very short offish. What is their next move? Because they want to make it right, so... Page of Pentacles. It's like they're going to let you rage on something, like... Allow you to be mad, allow you to be in this Queen of Swords energy as well, like give you the freedom to... You know, call them out on their BS or, you know, hate on them for a second. Yeah, like, like they want to give you that energy as like, you know what, Sag, just let it all out. Let it all out. Like, hate me for the time being or call me out for the time being. And then once you have chilled out or you took that chill pill, that's when they come forward with like a message or to approach you with a more decent proposal. So let's see. So to speak. And what is going to be the outcome here? It's going to go very slow. Knight of Pentacles. This person is going to be... Is planning your whole... I don't know how to say it. Like that outrageous energy. Like where you need to kind of like... Do things your own saggy style or scream, shout, uh, cut them off, be a little bit bitchy. Like they're going to let you do that and they're going to be very patient 
when it comes to you coming towards them because eventually they feel like sad will come back around when they when they've chilled out seven of cups reversed two of swords And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. I feel the same thing when I look at the Seven of Cups reversed with the Two of Swords. Like, don't expect too much, too much that's going to be going on here. Like, things are going to grow behind the scenes or silently. There's not going to be a lot of communication. That's what it looks like. Uh, it almost feels like both of you are going to be focusing a lot on finances, on career. Mm, there might be like a huge difference as well between the both of you. Like the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles means that there is a um, age difference or um, maybe even status difference or like you both have like a different path to walk on. And this person may feel a little bit insecure as well when they look at what you have achieved when, when it comes to... the you know, what you are representing in your life. They look up to you, though. I do see that they look up to you. However, let's get back to the to the message. Like, I don't get this vibe as if this person is going to speak up that easily uh, with this Two of Swords and the Seven of Cups. It's like, they're going to leave things a lot in the air and... Be patient when it comes to approaching you because they see you as a queen of pentacles and they know that they need to approach you with the right tactics or with the right approach in order for you to be receptive. Hmm. Let's see what more comes through for you, Saj. You miss someone. Oh my God, this is like the third sign that keeps on getting this message this person is definitely missing you but it's like they'll, they'll rather go they'll rather die than to tell you look at that <laughs> that's funny very stubborn energy is what i'm picking up on what else your sensuality is beautiful man man this person is so attracted to you they are so attracted to you Sexually, physically, they feel like you can get anyone you want. They have the Queen of Wands, which is also like that sexual energy, very attractive to you. An important end and a new beginning. So many of you may be experiencing an ending to this connection, as you might be the one that is walking away. However, I do sense that there is going to be a new beginning here as well, but it is going to take some time because I feel like you are just not ready to give this person a second chance. I think that you are in a very defensive energy, trying to block their, their energy. You're a little bit done with their insecure behavior and their you know lack of communication. We've got balance and alignment, focusing on, on yourself, focusing on clearing up your chakras and meditating, connecting more with spirit, understanding spiritual signs. We have divine masquerade, step out as the real you. So that could be also this person that is a little bit insecure, And not being quite upfront and honest. This is also a message that keeps on coming up in every sign. Bring love into the situation and don't let pride get in the way. So, I mean, this could be for both of you. Like, I see that both of you are being quite prideful. Uh, but most likely, you will tell that the other person has been very prideful. So, I think that that this person should also be starting to 
show their true faces and true colors and feelings and stop hiding behind their ego very alpha type of energy is coming through here and they need to kind of like show a little bit of their sensitive side as well if they want things to work with you and then we have the uprising we are all connected so your spirit guides and your ancestors might be also supporting you helping you and making you thrive on this path filled with challenges when it comes to this person. Let's see if you have a an advice from your angels. Advice for Sagittarius, please. Creative writing. Make time to write down your thoughts on a, in a journal or pen an article or book. So maybe you have a lot of stuffed up emotions and anger or even feelings of um, being played or hurt with this five of swords that you need to let out. Maybe it's kind of like anger or you're trying to, you know, fight back with this person and spirit is like, instead of like fighting it, just try to write your emotions down. Bold. Unleash your adventurous sides, take risks, and be daring. Now, I feel like this is already you. Obviously, you are that bold, fiery energy. So, maybe this is also talking for your person. Like, they need to kind of, like, grow a little bit of their balls and um, start to make, like, a bold, courageous move towards you. Because you are the tiger here. They see you as a tiger. And that's why they're a little bit afraid of approaching you. They see you as this lion or this tiger. Um, and it, like you intimidate them. Okay. Yes, my friends. That's what I have for you for today. I hope that this message resonated. And let me know in the comments below. Or just drop a like to support this channel. Uh, there will be an extended at the end of this video. And you can watch it with the link in the description box below or simply at the uh, if you are interested in getting to know more about the spiritual retreat in Mykonos and my jewelry collection you will find the information at the end of this video and yeah that's what i have for you so i'm sending you so much love and light take care sagittarius see you in the next one ciao everybody welcome back to the channel i am so grateful for you all to tune in again it's been a while i know i've been quite offline on youtube but i've been working very hard on a lot of projects and i want to share some of that pro some of those projects with you uh, first of all i've been working together with a wonderful wonderful team on creating our first spiritual retreat, which we are going to be doing in Mykonos, Greece, the 17th, 18th, and 19th of June. So that's what we've been working on very hard behind the scenes. So I really, really hope that I would see some of you guys show up on this very special, unique retreat that we are organizing. 
For me personally, Greece has been a major, major catalyst in finding my soul's purpose and it has, a, it has such a beautiful story to it. Uh, back in 2015, I believe it was, uh, was my first time that I went to Greece and I remember I was hiking in a small little island, uh, it was in Kos, I believe, and I, I biked into some type of a um, lane and at the end of that lane on top of a hill there was a small little church as we all know about uh, Greece culture they have these small little petite churches and I do know that uh, the year before that and the, the exact year that I was there I was really praying spirit to bring me my soul's mission like I knew that I had to do something special on earth that I did not know what it was before and I was as most of you know, I was getting very frustrated because it, it was not getting to me. And, and a new spirit had something special in mind that I didn't even know about. So I do believe that um, Greece really brought me that spiritual purpose. And when I went into that church, I um, lit up a candle with the intention for my spiritual mission to come to me. And I remember that I felt like there was someone, someone or people in that church as I was putting in my intention into the candle and the moment that I opened my eyes I looked around and I was like there is no one here and I just kind of like got a little bit scared because the presence of the energy within that place was so strong like I felt people or someone around me and I'm looking around and I'm like there is no one here how is that possible so I went out and I'm just looking around, it's just like in the middle of nowhere and there was absolutely no one there. And that moment I knew like, okay, there was a huge spirit here, um, probably heard my, my calling. Um, and later, that, later on that day, I went into some type of souvenir or supermarket and I remember that I found like these uh, crystal necklaces. I forgot to bring it with me, but I, ha I still have it here. And it said like Sagittarius crystal stones, but back in the days that was definitely not a common thing. Like crystals were definitely not a common thing to find that easily. I mean, it obviously you could find, but it was not something um, that was just like everywhere. So that felt to me like, okay, hey, there is there is some type of direction that I'm being guided to because when I was a child, I used to. Um, collect a lot of crystals and then I kind of like release that dream or not the dream but the hobby to collect crystals and nowadays we see overall online like it's like it's it's the most obvious thing when it's when it comes to spirituality right so for me you know Greece has been super super potent in the energies and with this ancient um, gods and goddesses it is definitely a place to really discover yourself and really discover your soul path and north node and your soul mission and whatever you're supposed to do in um, in this lifetime so i am very very excited to announce that we want to create a beautiful retreat where we are going to be putting the focus on first of all to release any karmic energies and then to attract um, and manifest on the new moon of Gemini, whatever your dreams and desires are. Uh, we've been working really, really diligently on creating this program with multiple people. And I do know that we are a little bit short at time because yeah, the Mercury retrograde really hit his heart. Um, and I wasn't able to get this video out or get the videos of the He Said, She Said out as well. So we are a little bit delayed in uh, announcing this and I know that many of my subscribers are um, spread over the world especially in the US um, we are trying to keep it a little bit open um, it is very sacred um, we have two villas so it's going to be not that many people that can participate to begin with uh, but if there is troubles when it comes to short time bookings then we are able to maybe ex uh, extend it until September so all depends on you obviously so yeah let us know what you think about it I have all the information in the description box below it's on my home page and as well as on um, the ticket link on the website but all the information will be down in the description box below this video 
and yeah it's, it's going to be amazing it's going to be very magical and the team that we created is absolutely so spiritually based and super super talented and intelligent and uh, yeah we're going to make the best out of it uh, let us know uh, how you feel about it and also if you want to vote rather for September let us know as well because maybe we can do another retreat in September and let's see where we end up next um yeah that's what i have for you guys so let me know your comments i would really really love to see all of you well, well we can't see all of you but i would really love to meet and see some of you that can make it even though it's a little bit short at time but yeah if it's meant to be it's meant to be and we'll definitely meet each other if not then at another place a second thing that I want to introduce is that I've been working really hard on my new Sakura collection, my new jewelry collection. Um, I have all the images and a short little uh, clip for you guys at the end of the video of the He Says She Says game. So if you are interested, take a look. Uh, it is Mother's Day today that I am recording this, so happy Mother's Day to everyone out there. I know even that is a little bit short of time, but if you want to purchase, I have made a 25% coupon uh, that you can use on the crystals as well as the um, oils. So if you're still searching for a nice little gift for your mother or for yourself, you can still purchase, purchase that. So that's been my life so far. Uh, let's see how your life is going in the He Said, She Said game. I thank you so much for your presence and for your likes, your shares, your comments. And I really, really hope to see you in, um, in June in Mykonos. Thank you so much and I catch you in the He Said, She Said game. Ciao.